Here I've already written the GPA calculator program and basically it will ask for input and will print out the result. So let me show you how it works. So nothing really fancy when you run the program. So for example, I'm just going to give it all the random values and then at the end it will tell it to stop and it will print out the result and it will tell me what range is my grade in. I'm going to put everything in one file. So I'm going to start by defining some global variables that are accessible everywhere in this program. So I'm going to start by making the grade sum. I'm going to set that to a float, a floating point number, and then a variable for holding the number of grades. And I'm going to set that to zero. It's going to be integer and the GPA itself. And that's going to be a floating point number. And the idea here is to get the grades from the user, ask for the user until they say no, get all the grades, add them up and divide by the number of grades that user put in. So the first command that we need is a way to get the input from the user. So I'm just going to use this variable to hold whatever user uh, inputs and for that we would use the, the gets method and we want to chop off the ending line breaks or any other unnecessary line endings. Now the user input should be converted to a number or a value because if user passes an A minus B plus that should be converted to its equivalent value and that should add to the grade sum. So you can increment it or add to it cumulatively but here we need a function to be able to convert uh, the input, the letter input, to its equivalent value. So I've written the helper and all it does, it gets the letter grade as a string and it goes through and checks whatever the letter is and if it's A minus it will set that value to 3.7 for example. So we can use this here, we can use this function and we can call it on the user input. So that value is then converted to a number. Now when we get the input and add it to the grade sum, then we need to increment the grade counter. Let me here, before doing anything else, define a local counter variable. Let's say grade counter. I'm going to set that to zero. And after this, I'm just going to increment that. So that's about that. Here I just noticed that I didn't initialize a value for the user input. So let me just make a make an empty string for that so that would hold the user input. So this is good for now, but this part of the program is going to run until the user says no. So let me just cut that out and put it in a loop, some sort of a loop. I'm going to use the unless loop and I'm going to put it in there. We're going to ask the user until they say no. So I'm going to write another helper for that. And I'm going to call that does user say no. And I'm going to pass in the user input. So let's define that helper for it. And basically all it does is it gets a question. So let me change this to question and checks if it equals to stop. So whenever a user says stop, it's going to stop executing the program. Now here after it executes this loop, we want to be able to hold the value of the counter. So the issue is that when I run the program, since it's not a complete and perfect program, it doesn't increment the counter correctly. So I had to make this adjustment and set the global var variable to the value of the counter minus one. You could do it different ways like using an array and storing the values there but this is just a quick example just to see how we can use different loops and variables in a program. So it's not meant to be a perfect program. So this now will hold the number of grades and then at the end of this method, once all the calculation is done, it's going to just return the 
sum of the grades. Just like that. So now we need to just wrap this whole thing in a function. So let's call that get user grade and at all. Let me just paste it there and put the end right there. So that looks good. Now the next method that we need is a method to actually calculate the GPA. So let's just call that calculate GPA and is going to is going to get the sum of the grades using that method and it's going to just divide it by the number of grades so that would give you the GPA and at the end it will just return the value of GPA so for the last part all we need to do is to just just call the method and store it in a variable say my grade and let's just call the method calculate GPA and let's just print out the result and see if it works. So here it's giving me an error. It doesn't know of any method. Does user say no? So let's go and see what the problem is. And uh, there is a spelling error there. Okay. Let's run this again. Let's put in the grades. And here the problem is that I think the bottom, which is the counter, it's zero. Actually, the number of grades is zero. That's why it's giving us infinity. So let's go and see if we can solve that problem. So the problem should be somewhere here where we're getting the number of grades and it's not incremented correctly. So I'm assuming that probably this one is the issue here. And the other problem is that it doesn't go through the loop. So the grade counter seems to be working fine and the loop is the problem so this unless is used inappropriately here so I think it should be changed to until so we're going to get the user input until they say no so let's try that and see if it works a a a minus stop so now that seems to be working fine let's do another test Yep, that works fine. In the next video, I'll convert this program to an object-oriented version of it so that we can work with some classes and make it do the same thing.